Firefighters side are making progress on the Flats fire burning up in the mountains just south of Palm Desert in Pinion Pines. The fire stands at 400 acres tonight and is now 30% contained. Evacuation orders for Pinion Crest have been downgraded to an evacuation warning. Pinion Pines and Alpine Village remain under an evacuation warning. Part of, uh, we'll get to Jake in just a moment, part of Highway 74 remains closed to non-local traffic. Residents are being escorted by a pilot vehicle. As you just heard, News Channel 3's Jake Ingrassia continues team coverage tonight on the heat with more on the conditions firefighters are facing. It isn't just smoldering hot spots that firefighters are battling on the second day of the Flats fire. Soaring temperatures are pushing fire crews to their limits as a heat wave grips Southern California. The worst of the flames and smoke seemingly have passed after the fire erupted Sunday and tore through 400 acres near Pinion Pines. But the push for containment is still far from over and historic heat is only making the job harder. With this uh, heat wave that came in with the higher temperatures and uh, winds, it makes it very, very difficult for the firefighters in the field to uh, do the job, maintain hydration, and still be able to uh, continue mop up at a high paced rate. Incident Commander Jim Snow with the Forest Service says the triple digit temperatures have the more than 400 first responders there on high alert with crews rotating out to prevent heat exhaustion. You know, long sleeves, pants, carrying their gear, you do get tired. So we try to get our folks some time rest, get them some shade, get them some AC in the vehicles once in a while. These pallets of water helicoptered into the higher altitude areas, 200 gallons to keep firefighters hydrated without having to carry the weight. And it really is such a fine line that firefighters have to walk. You can see this landscape scorched right through surrounding this structure that's being protected right now by a water tender. And take a look at this fire line with the fire retardant where crews were able to stop the forward spread of those flames, keeping them just far enough away to spare that home. Other homes were destroyed and several damaged, but some who live nearby say the biggest loss is to nature. It was a beautiful, lush, uh, forest and now it'll take probably 10, 15 years just to get somewhat back to normal. This man thankful to the firefighters. His home remains intact. I mean, you guys are heroes. But crews say this isn't an anomaly and people should be prepared for hotter, bigger fires. We're seeing it more and more every year um, that the ever faithful, you know, year round fire season is here. Yet another firefight crews say are only going to increase. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3. Pinion Pines.